Hi folks, so in this video I'm going to be continuing to work on the breakout game that I was coding in Python. So I'll run the code just to show how far I'd gotten last time. I'd created a game window and filled the background and I'd created this wall of blocks which all have different strengths and the colors depend on that strength. So at the moment there's nothing else in here and what I plan to cover in this video is the creation of the game panel. So I'll come down here and I'll create this also as another class. So this will be my paddle class. Class paddle. And start off with the init function. And it doesn't need to take any variables. So uh, I'm going to just define a couple of things in here. Namely the height of the paddle which I will set to 20 pixels. Actually, I'll add a comment here. Uh, define paddle variables. So the height is defined. Then I'll define the width of the paddle, which I will just set to... I want this width to change, same as I did with the blocks. I want this to change depending on the uh, screen width and also the number of columns that I've got. So it's going to be more or less the same, uh, the same equation. So I want this to be uh, an integer value. I don't want any decimal points. I'll say screen width divided by the number of columns. Uh, next, I want to give it an X and a Y start point. So this is going to be for how the paddle is going to be drawn on the screen initially. So self X, and again, I'll use int because I don't want a decimal point. I want this to be roughly in the middle of the screen. So screen width divided by two. So this will position it right in the middle. However, the rectangle X position tends to, is the top left point of that rectangle. So determining the center and drawing it here is actually going to mean that the rectangle is off to the right a little bit. So I want to take away from this value half of the rectangle width, self width divided by two. So that's going to make sure that the X position really is over in the middle of the screen, but also over by half of the rectangle. And the Y position is going to be, well, I just want it to be off the bottom of the screen a little bit. So I've defined the height of my screen as screen height. So then I'll just say self dot height times two. So all, all this really means is just, it's going to be off the bottom of the screen by twice its own height. I want to give it a speed at which it can move across the screen. So self speed, I'll set to 10. And now from this, I can create a rectangle. Self.rect is a rectangle, which is a pi game function. So I give it my start positions of self x, self y, and self width, and self height. I also want to add another variable, which I will explain later on. Uh, essentially, this is going to track the direction that the paddle is moving in. So that's the init function defined. Uh, now I want to define a couple of other ones. The first one being move, which is going to allow me to move the paddle left and right. And then the next one after that is going to be draw, so I can actually put this paddle onto the screen. So I'll start off with the move function. Define move, uh, no arguments, so it just takes self, and okay so first of all I want to reset that direction set movement direction self dot direction equals zero so it's initially defined uh, when the paddle is initiated when it's first created and within here within the rest of the moves function I'm going to be setting this direction depending on whether I'm moving right or left but before I do any of that I want to just make sure that it's reset back to zero because as I press right or left, it's going to change this number. So I need to know which button is being pressed. So I will assign that to the key variable and I will use pygame.key.get underscore pressed. This is going to give me whichever keys have been pressed and then I'm going to be looking through that for the keys that I want. So if key pygame.key underscore left, so if the left arrow key has been pressed, then I want to be able to move this rectangle to the left. But remember, if I just hold this left button down, it means that this, the, the paddle is just going to go off the left-hand side of the screen. So I need a way of limiting that. 
And the limit for that is I'm going to check whether the left hand side of the rectangle has passed the zero point or not. So whether it's gone off the left hand side of the screen. So at self.rect.left, so the left hand side of the rectangle, as long as that is greater than zero, then we can move in the left direction. So I'm going to update self.rect, which is the X position of this panel rectangle. I'm just going to update it by taking away the speed. So doing it this way allows me to easily update the speed variable up here if I want to slow down or speed up the paddle. Uh, now I also want to assign a direction. So self direction, in this case, because I'm moving in a negative direction, I'm going to say that E equals minus one. Now I can copy this down and just do the same thing for the right arrow key. So I'll change this to right. Uh, and now my limit is going to be different. I'm now looking for essentially making sure that the right hand side of the rectangle has not gone off the screen. So as long as it's less than screen width, then we can move. So the rectangle X is now going to be changing, but it's moving in a positive direction. And self direction is just one. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I need to be able to move the paddle around. So the next function I want to define is the draw function, so I can draw this onto the screen. Before I do that, I need to find a couple of extra colors. So these are going to be my paddle colors. Paddle colors. So the paddle underscore call is going to equal. So again, these are numbers that I used before. And I'll define a second one, which I'll explain in a second. Paddle outline equals 100, 100, 100. So if I come back down here, I can now start defining that function. Define draw self. And this one is going to be very similar to what I've done with the wall. I'm just going to have the draw rect function in here. So pygame.draw.rect, and I first input the game window, which is screen, then the color, which is paddle call. And lastly, the rectangle itself, which is self.rect. So with these defined, I can now create an instance of this paddle. So we'll come down here, add a comment, create paddle. And this is just going to be my player paddle equals paddle class. So I've created an instance of the paddle class and I've saved it as player paddle. Now I can call those functions by just referring to this instant within the main game loop. So where I currently have the wall, I will say draw paddle and I will say player paddle dot uh, draw and player paddle dot move. So that should cover both of those functions. So let's just run this code and see. Okay, so that's working out. I've got the paddle here and I can press left and right. You can see it doesn't go off the screen. Uh, it moves incredibly fast and I will fix that. That's just to do with the frame rate. Essentially it's unlimited. So this is just running as fast as the, the computer can process it. So I will fix that. But first of all, uh, if you notice, at the moment, the paddle is just a gray color. I want to make it a little bit more uh, textured. So that is why I defined two colors. I've got a paddle color and a paddle outline. So if I come back into here, I can just change the code a little bit. So here I'm just going to add another rectangle. And this is going to be almost the same thing that I did with the blocks. So instead of the paddle color, I want the paddle outline. And again, it's going to be self rect but if I just run this, it's going to draw that entire rectangle over my existing one, so it's just going to cover it up completely. I don't want to do that. Instead, I want it to be a non-filled rectangle with a line thickness of 3. If I run this now, you can see I've got this uh, two-toned paddle, and I can still move it left and right. So I'm just going to fix that speed now by adding a frame rate limit to this. So I'll come back up here. Uh, no, actually, I'll put it down here where I've got my game variables. So first of all, I want to define a clock, which will be pygame.time.clock. So this is a, a built-in pygame function. And then I want to set a frame rate, which I will limit to 60 FPS. So now all I need to do is add one more line of code within the main game loop to ensure that 
it runs at that fixed speed. So all I say is I reference that clock dot tick, which is a Python or it's a Python function dot tick at the frame rate of FPS. So if I run this again now, it should limit the speed quite a lot. So now it's much smoother and the paddle is moving left and right in a more controlled manner. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope that was useful and, and if so then please do leave a like uh, and if you want to stay up to date with uh, future tutorials then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.